Hi, in this video, we'll see how to insert a video file into your PowerPoint and you can show it when you go for a presentation, a video file will be playing for it. So now this is an advanced version of Excel that is 2016 and you can use this uh, benefit feature of this. Now, how do you insert a video file into the PowerPoint? It's very same like in Excel also, the same steps are there. So I'll go to the insert tab and I can go to this section that is media section. There's an audio, video and screen recording. So I'll go to this video file. There are two options available. One is the online video and second one is the video from my PC. Online video means you can insert a video from your YouTube or any other channel into your PowerPoint and you can play it. And another option is the video on my PC, any option, any video if you have on your laptop or your PC, you can insert. I have one video which I'll show you a demo here. So I'll click on this option as video on my PC and you see there's a video file that's a sample video and that's the location of my video file and I'll select that video and click on insert. So I'll select this file, click on insert. By default, if you see the entire video is taking the space of the slide, entire slide. I do not want to give the entire space. So what I'll do is I'll reduce the size this way and I'll bring it in between. So now if you see this is a video file which is inserted into my PowerPoint. Now the size of my PowerPoint is video PowerPoint video file size plus my PowerPoint size. So total that much. So when I go for a presentation, I need not carry that video file. I just need to carry one PowerPoint. In that PowerPoint, I have the video file. So it becomes very easy for me to understand. Now, next is if I if I want to just play it, I can just click on this play button over here, right? And it will keep on working. And I can click on this pause button. So once I click on this video file, if you see there are two tabs available. One is the format tab and second is playback tab. If I keep my cursor outside, the tab will go away. So once I click on that, uh, video file I'll get this format and playback now let's see the format what exactly we are seeing that now when you present the file how do you present this slideshow I'll just press f5 from my keyboard f5 shortcut key or I can go for the slideshow and I say as say as from beginning so this is the slideshow now how you can play this video file if you have a mouse you can just click on this uh, video Hello, and it will play if you want to pause, you just using mouse, you can put it. But sometimes if you do not have a mouse, what you can do is you can use the shortcut key to play that is all to P. So I'll press all to P. If you want to pause the video file, alt P again. So alt P is used to pause a file and alt P is used to, you know, uh, play the file. But now if you want to stop the file, you do not want to play it or pause it. You want to stop it uh, from beginning. So you can say as alt Q. So I'll press Alt Q from my keyboard. So this is the beginning. So you can see here Alt P. Hello friends. I'm gonna pick I. Hmm. So Alt P. Now you might be confused. How do I remember all the shortcuts? So I'll give you a better place where you can remember all the shortcuts. On the when the screen is in the slideshow mode, and on this place, what you can do is you can uh, right click on the screen like this. Right click on the screen, and you see there's an option given as Help. So in this help place, you'll get all the shortcuts which are available. Now, if we are working on media, so I'll take you to the media place. Remember, I've told you Alt P. Let's say Alt P is used to play or pause. Second, if you see, there's an Alt Q which is used to stop the playback. Similarly, there's one option which is Alt U that is mute or unmute. And few more options are available. Like if you want to play forward or you want to play backward, you can use the option as Alt uh, Shift left arrow key or Alt Shift right arrow key. So I'll show you that. Now, if I want to fast forward this video in the forward direction, so I can say as Alt, Alt Shift right arrow key. So it is forwarding. If I press Alt Shift left arrow key, so it is going back. Without using the mouse, I can use this option. Alt Shift right arrow key, it will go forward. Alt Shift backward. So this way you can use it. But sometimes this video, it doesn't look presentable. So what you can do is you can change the shape of the presentation. You can change the color of the presentation and you can make it more beautiful in this place. So I'll just remove this. I'll just press escape key. Now, when you uh, click on this video, I have this format and playback. I'll try to play with this format. Now, if you see the video color of this video at the background is white color and it's a tutorial point video. So here is the option where you can play. I'll click on the pause again. 
the next option if you see the corrections this way corrections you can change the color of this video so if i want the light color so you can make the color light itself if you want to make it in the dark color you just select this dark color so if you do not want you, you just select some medium color over here so this kind of medium color so this way you can change the corrections similarly if you want to change the color background color not into black and white but into some other color let's say if i select this red color over here so the background of the video goes red it comes in this place so if i click on play button right similarly there are many more colors which are available so as per your requirement you can choose the colors right now and uh, also there's a there's another option so i'll just choose some other green color over here and yeah it looks like hulk so i'll just click on pause now there's one more option if you do not like this coloring you have made lot of mistakes so what you can do is you can reset the design how you can see you can see a reset design so i can see as reset designs so once i click on reset design it will come back to the original position similarly if you want the second option reset design and size the second option reset design and size so the original size of the video will come you see the original si video size but i do not want that original size i can just reduce it and bring into the slide itself this way yeah so next next i have you might have seen some videos where you get the po uh, poster image when you start the video before that you get a poster image you can you can put a poster image to this video how i can put it i can just go to this poster frame into the format tab and there's one option given as image from file so from image from file once i click on that file i need to browse that uh, uh, poster image on this file itself or i can use from the internet browse from file so i have just dummyly written here let's a poster frame so i'll click on that and click on insert so now if you see when you start a video before that you will get this kind of poster so i'll just show you the slide show mode i'll go to slide show and click on this from beginning so this is the poster image which you'll get so once you click on that the video will play i'll click on that video hello friends this way so this is the pause button same way if i want to stop it if you remember the shortcut key alt uh, that was alt q it will come to the original position so this way you can put a poster image also still if you do not like you can go to this uh, format and you can say as reset design and you can change it but now i'll say as reset design only yeah and uh, you can remove the poster file also you can see as poster frame you can reset so it will go back away now if you do not like the square shape of this video file what you can do is you can change the shape of this video also by using this video styles so i'll show you the, these are the different video styles available so if i say like, i want this kind of video style and if you play hello friends abhi aap ek it professional hai yeah so this way also you can change the shape of your video similarly there are vi different video shapes available here so whichever you think is useful better you can use that like this and uh, this video file or something like let's say this one this one is better so you can choose that video style also at any point of time if you think this is not the proper method you can just go to this place reset design and you can choose the option it will come back to the original position so this way you can work on that similarly there are few more options available in the format tab if you see there is again a video shape which is given here so shape of the videos accordingly you can change so if you see there is a video shape i can select this video shape you know as per your requirement you can change the size also of this you can change the borders border color so if i want the red color so that's a red border available same way there are some video effects how do you want to make it your video to resemble a shadow reflection and so on not required right now so this way you can work on that if you want to rotate your image also still you can rotate the uh, video same way you can see this options available rotate the video file so if you want to rotate any direction you can change if you want for more rotation more rotation direction options so i've got this option now you see i'll tilt my video in this manner so i'll just click on this rotation yeah so i'll click on this minus sign if you observe here the video is getting rotated like this and i'll just close this dialog box right i have how many video files i have just one video file you can also play with this video file in this manner how you can play it you can just press control c control v copy paste and you can get two video files on the same slide so i'll press control c and control v yeah so i'll select control c and i'll press control v so i've got two video files or or else you can just keep your cursor here copy and then keep your cursor at this place paste 
So if you will get two video files again. Yeah. So this video files. So in a one slide, you can show multiple videos. How do you show it? You can just go to slideshow, click on from beginning. And these are three videos you can play. I mean, just showing an example, you can uh, insert three different videos also available. So if I click on this. So this way it can, you know, keep on creating different videos in this place. If not required, click on. Yeah. So in this way you can keep on adding multiple videos and it works very beautifully and you can design at the different locations, different, different options can be working on that. So I hope you have enjoyed the video. That's all.